Hello, welcome to PZ, the PBS The Tutor. In this video, we're looking at physics and we're looking at a simple pendulum. Look at one question, then we get done with it. A lot of people have got challenges on this. Uh, people requested for a video, so I decided to make one. So, what is a simple pendulum? So, the diagram below shows a pendulum. So now, what is a simple pendulum? Okay, so a simple pendulum is just an instrument which is used to measure time. So, instrument. used to measure time so it's an instrument which is used to measure time it's actually very small it's a simple it's a simple machine the bulb was found to have moved from a to b so let me just do a simple sketch here so a, this is B, this is C. So I'm saying it has moved from A to B in 0 0.2 seconds. So I'm saying A to B, it had covered 0 0.2 seconds. And then to point C, calculate the, the periodic time of the pendulum. Now you need to know that period is equal to time taken over number of complete what oscillations. Now the time taken in this case is 0 0.2 seconds. Number of computers in there say it moved from A to B, then also to C, also back to C. So if it moves A, then it went to this one, that means it made half oscillations. Okay, so it made the 0 0.5 has. Let's find the answer and see the period. So I'm saying 0 0.2 by 0 0.5. We get 0 0.4 seconds. Explain how the bulb should move to make a complete swing. Now here I'll just show you. I'll just show you for a bulb to make a complete swing, it should move from A to C and back to A. Then it has made a complete oscillation. That's what it says. What do we call the time taken for the period to make a complete oscillation? The time taken Okay, to make one complete oscillation, that's what we call period. Which goes by this formula. Let's look at this question. The diagram below represents a pendulum hung from a fixed point. Find the length of the pendulum. So we can see something here. That something is happening. So we have this, it's being hung there. Then there is this bulb here. Okay. Then from here to somewhere here, it's there again from there to somewhere there. And so here there's two centimeters, and here we have ten centimeters. They're saying what is the length of the pendulum? The length of the pendulum is equal to the length of the thread. So length of pendulum of say pend is equal to length of a thread or string plus plus radius of the bulb and remember that the bulb has a two centimeter diameter so to find the radius you actually divide it by two so what you want is just half of two one centimeter Okay, this one centimeter we add to the length of the of the th cotton thread so the length is equal to 10 centimeters the length of the thread plus radius which is one centimeter this will give you 11 centimeter as the length of the pendulum that's how you find the length of the pendulum you don't get the whole uh, diameter you only get the radius of the bulb then you add to the thread length 
so I'll end here saying the diagram below shows the simple pendulum that oscillates between A and C. It takes 2.05 seconds to go from A to C and back to the midpoint. So they are saying I say it has moved from there, again it goes there, again it moves from there. And this movement, it only takes a time of 2.05 seconds. Okay? Because what the period of the pendulum? Period is equal to time taken over number of complete oscillations. Now you need to know that from A to B, okay, from A here to B, it's quarter. Again, from B to C, it's another quarter. Now, quarter plus quarter is half. Now, if it again, so we have half in this movement. Now, if I, again it comes from C going to B, it's also a quarter. So, in this case, we have three quarters as heads. We have A need to be three over four heads. And we must know that three over four is the same as zero, uh, 0 0.75. So we have this will give us time is 2.05 by, by 0 0.75. So we have 2.05 by, by 0 0.75. That will give you a period of 2.7 seconds. So 2.7 what? Seconds. Calculate the frequency of the pendulum. Frequency is equal to 1 over period. I can't use the other formula because it used to give me the same answer. So frequency is the reciprocal of period. And in this case, 1 over period is 2.7. So this will give me just 1 over 2.7. B says, briefly describe how the period of the pendulum would be measured. How do you measure the period of the pendulum? It's quite a good process, but it's worth the marks. But the first thing that we need to know is that when measuring the period is, we have to let this swing, again swing, like, and as it, as it is swinging, please continue recording the time until you find the average time. And once you find the time, let's say we find time 1, time 2, time 2, then find the average. Here there are 4. Then period is equal to time of a number of complete oscillations. So the, 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 the number of complete oscillations, it depends on how many you've, like, you've done so far. So, I thank you for watching. Previous tutor, I'll keep on seeing you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos.